All right, here it is, the great debate, AK-74 versus AR-15. Which is better? This debate's been going on ever since the Cold War. It's going to be going on long after we're dead. This is just my opinion on things, so please don't get too hurt about it. This is just my opinion, and opinions vary. Uh, everybody has their own opinion based on their own personal experiences. So with that said, we'll go ahead and get started. I base my opinion off of one thing and one thing only when comparing these two rifles. And that is the ability to function in an environment where I cannot maintain that rifle like I should. Either due to just not having enough time or due to lack of resources, i.e. not having a cleaning kit, not enough oil, all that good stuff. Because in the end, if we're talking a shit hit the fan without rule of law, zombie, apocalypse, whatever type scenario, even cleaning kit resources are not uh, always renewable. Oil runs out, things break, sooner or later you're just stuck to using a shoelace that's tied in knots to maintain a rifle. That's been proven in places like Iraq and Afghanistan. Now both of these rifles have similar ballistics, similar capabilities, they're both fine rifles, but because of what I base my choice on, my choice has to be the AK-74. That is because the AK-74 will last in austere conditions longer than an AR-15 will without proper maintenance. The AR-15 is a great rifle. It'll work in any condition and environment as long as you are disciplined in maintaining it. If you don't maintain it like it should, it will fail. The tolerance of the AK-74, the design, will keep it running for a lot longer. And that's evident when you look at the, even the YouTube videos out there. Look at the YouTube videos, you see these Kalashnikov rifles getting shot with mud, caked inside and all that good stuff. Any of the guys that's been in Iraq and Afghanistan that's fired some of these old AK-47s and 74s can testify that, yeah, while they're in crappy condition and they may keyhole the round at 100 yards due to having a shot out barrel, it still functions. That is the reason why I would choose the AK-74, because above all, I want reliability. Um, if I had no resources around me, I'd want to know that at least my rifle would work. So with that said, feel free to leave your opinions, whether it be in the comment box or in a video response, I'll go ahead and approve them. Uh, again, this is just my personal opinion, so take it with a grain of salt. Everybody's got different opinions on things, and you know it's not necessarily right or wrong. It's just based on what that person feels and what that a person's experiences are. So, thanks for watching, and keep that powder dry.